Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today going to be taking a look at Robot Champions, a robot fighting game. This is the demo for a robot fighting game that has come out on Steam in the last week or so, I believe, and I am very excited for this one. I'm very curious about uh, about this particular game. As many of you will know, I'm a big fan of Robot Wars and the like. So when I saw this around the place, I was very, very interested. Now, as I said, this is just a demo. There is no single player stuff. What we're going to be doing here is just I guess, kind of showcasing the game a little bit. Uh, we're going to be doing the I say, basically this custom match we're creating here. Uh, you've got all sorts of various options. We're going to do first to win three rounds. We're going to have two minute bouts. Uh, then there is a Elimination. I'm going to turn off perks. You can have perks for your robots. I wish you could have a straight up, straight up fight. Uh, yeah, there's an eliminator uh, round part at the end. Let's just go and launch the thing. So we have got to fill all of the, uh, with AI. There are four robots to play around with on the demo. We've got Clever Boy, that's a spinner. We have Gigahertz, that's a hammer. War Toys, that is a kind of rambot, strong, punches things out of the way. And we have got Stampede, which is a flipper. Those are your options for the demo. There'll be many more, I have no doubt. I'm going to start off by playing with the spinner robot. Uh, actually, let's stick a flipper in there. Let's go for a war toys. Uh, flippers can kind of, the, the flipper's probably the weakest one of this lot. When the AI are using it, it can get a little bit uh, a little bit battered. We'll go for another spinner. War toys can be a pain in the ass, as you will inevitably see. Actually, you know what? I want... No, oh, I want a green thing. There is, there is orange for everything else, and green only for the spinner. I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come. You can have sort of uh, specific antennas if you want as well. So a little bit of robot customization. Again, there's going to be a full-on robot building. This is just the demo to play around with. And I've been playing this, uh, probably played it for a couple of hours now, uh, in this kind of just arcade mode. It's really bloody good fun. It's really, really good fun. So here we go. We have a start. Now, you can spin up your weapons before the countdown goes, which always feels a little bit cheeky, uh, especially with spinners. It's all about having the weapons up to speed. Uh, but yeah, this is our arena. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely fired. Giga. Oh, that might be stuck. Ow. The arena is quite dangerous here. And this is a more arcade robot combat than the likes of, let's say, Robot Arena. Uh, that was certainly Robot Arena 2 when you put some mods on it. Even the base game, but we certainly when you put some mods on, uh, you start getting some really quite uh, in-depth, detailed, crazy stuff. I loved it, but it was also, well, it was notoriously fiddly to get working. Um, or I always found it a little bit unreliable. Oh, I think Barry might be broken. Someone's gone to space. Oh, Barry's flipped back over again. It's fine. Uh, now, the downside with the spinners, they are quite fragile. Uh, mine's already looking the worst for wear. Uh, but they do a lot of damage, of course, uh, which pinged off the side. Um, yeah, so it's a combat, quite arcadey driving. It's... I, I don't know if you can set up the controls. I'm sure there probably will be an option. You've got uh, left and right trigger for accelerate. Steering is on the stick. A turns your weapons on. In this case, it's just a spinny. Just leave it on. Um, or you can fire it. Uh, X gives you this little... You see the little um, power bar basically above uh, our robots. You press X, you do like a speed boost. Uh, helpful to save... God, we got rid of that thing. Uh, helpful to save perhaps towards the end if you go down to an eliminator style bit. Uh, where you might need to be able to ram the last opponent off the area, or helpful to get out of a tight spot if things go a little bit awry. Hey, we got rid of the little war toys. Uh, Bob, you are on top of... Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Just fire Bob across the arena. It drives really well. If you are hoping for a massively in-depth uh, driving experience, it's perhaps not quite going to be that for you. Oh, my spin has got stuck. No, bad things have happened. It's the first time I've seen it actually get properly stuck. Help! There we go. We are now unstuck. That did a lot of damage to me. I think more so than George. Um, yeah, if you want to get an amazingly incredible in-depth uh, robot game, this won't quite be it. For example, if you get knocked upside down, your controls aren't suddenly inverted. You don't have to worry about that. The game will kind of sort it out so that forward is always on the same stick uh, or the same trigger. And... Oh! It's come down to me against Barry. Now, I can just pluck your wheels off if I'm clever. Or you could get... I say you could. Ooh, that was a nice flip. Uh, can I just dance around here? Oh, go on, go off. Uh, I could just leave you there. I want to finish you off. There we go. <laughs> Into the pit with you. <laughs> I'll finish the sentence eventually. You get distracted just doing the fights. 
my robot is pretty poorly. Uh, so yeah, you don't get inverted controls if you if you flip over and so on. Uh, damage on the robots, as you saw in that particular fight, is pretty damn awesome. Now it isn't again as as I would hope. Uh, you won't get like a one hit KO. As, certainly as far as I'm aware, as far as I've experienced. Um, it's not like you can sever an antenna, you can sever a link or something important like that. Uh, you will get counted out if your robot is stationary for too long, and if you manage to get your poor hammer bot stuck on its side, for example, yeah, you'll generally have quite a bad time. Uh, but yeah, damage is more oh, over, over time. Ouch! That was nasty. Um, oh, that's fine, we'll get away with that. Yeah, over time. However, you can, as you can see here, target specific areas on robots. For example, uh, once you dink out some of the side armor, you can focus down, try to take out a robot's wheels. Take out enough wheels and they will stop moving. You can try and take out weaponry. I haven't actually seen a spinner stop working. I think you can nick the hammer off the hammer bot. I think I saw one. Might have been in the chaos at, a, at some point. But either way, yeah, you can kind of try and focus down some areas. You know, if you want to focus, like, hitting the same side of something and take the wheels off, which is quite cool. And the damage does look pretty good. My robot's actually looking pretty clean in all of this. You can dink off panels and whatnot. It's not the, it's not crazy, crazy levels of sort of defamation on the robots. Uh, this basic frame, I think, will always stay roughly in the same shape. But it is good fun, uh, especially trying to nick off all the wheels of somebody. There we go. We have nicked off. Barry is having a really, really rough time. Uh, that was just more for demonstrative purposes than anything else. Oh, go away. Ah, the <laughs> being battered by the arena. Each arena has their own hazards as well. This one's got like these ram bits around the place. Oh, spinner got stuck a little bit in there. Uh, other ones have different. There's one with giant hammers, like the turbo hammers you get from battle bots. I think they're called turbo hammers. I can't actually remember now. Oh, uh, the, the, the big hammer bot doesn't look like it's that effective. However, if it's... Uh, kind of pins you, especially when you've got like a big flat-topped robot like this. If it pins this, it can actually kill it really quickly. can take it out in only a few hammer swings if it manages to land them perfectly. I think it's actually... Oh, no, we have got a war toy somewhere. Don't know where the other robot's gone. And now, you can choose to have the camera angle uh, looking at everybody's bot, uh, so you get kind of an overview of the arena. Uh, or you can, as I've got it set here, just look at mine. If you have it focused on everybody's, you can sometimes uh, lose track of where the hell you are. Ow! My camera got... I've not seen that effect before. <laughs> That's quite fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, the robots hit the uh, camera, apparently. That comes up. That's nifty. Uh, we've got two wins. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, maybe I've started to get the hang of this a little bit more. I had been uh, struggling. I said I've been struggling. We're having some good, some good bouts. War Toys is the one to run away from. Uh, when you are like one victory away from winning, you get this little uh, spotlight. I don't know whether that actually makes the AIs go for you more. I think it kind of feels like they do, but that might just be me. Um, I think also the hazards ramp up. They can ramp up. There is a button somewhere. If we boop this button, I think it ramps. I don't actually know whether I hit that properly. It ramps up some of the hazards. Uh, some of the arenas have like little pits on them. This particular one here doesn't. We're going to try and reverse away. My robot's actually looking the worst for wear now. Uh, come on, we are going to try and nick some wheels again. The favourite game. The favourite game is trying to steal wheels from, especially the flipper bot that we have at the moment, just because it's got six of them, and it's generally not the strongest. Oh, <laughs> we kicked, we kicked the hammer out of the arena. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to your side. Oh, your side armor held on. Oh, they've got stuck now as well. Uh, spin around. Again, this is just a demo. This is just a demo, and this is an awful, awful lot of fun, just with some pre-made robots. And it is, you know, local, let's say split-screen, it technically wouldn't be split-screen because it'll be on the same, but you've got local play for the demo, so you can have an awful lot of fun just with this. With these, it, all the robots have their own strengths and weaknesses. I can win matches with the flipper. You can use the flipper to kind of control a match, uh, whereas this, the one I'm using at the moment, is literally just about creating carnage. Uh, whoop, I'm going to avoid that flipper, because uh, you can go over and I can nick a wheel. I think I'm not... Knucked a wheel? Stole a wheel! Uh, we're going to flip back over again. No problem for me. Uh, as I said, there is going to be a full, you know, like, creator designing of your own robots, which I'm looking forward to having a go with, creating mad contraptions. Um, I'm kind of happy just to let you guys do what you want to do, and I'll let my thing spin up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll let my thing spin up, and then... Oh, uh, don't get stuck on there. And then we'll come in for a, for a hit at some point. Uh, can I, nick? I still want to steal some wheels from people. It is, it is just how I play these games. It always has been. It was one of the bloody BeamNG Drive demo derbies. It was always about stealing wheels off of vehicles. Uh, oh, careful now, because the arena's going to fall apart. Uh, my spinner's not 
moving at all, which isn't great. Uh, whoop. Now, can I... We're going we're to be fighting over this one very, very small area. <laughs> We've had a lot of twists and turns. A lot of, a lot of upside-down moments. It is a true fail race video. We've spent more time... Whoa! That was a fun little kickflip. Yeah, occasionally physics freaks out. Uh, occasionally weird things do occur. Um, to be fair, occasionally weird things occur in actual robot fights and all that. Um, I'm going to have to do that burst because I was in danger of being bopped into a pit. We are nicking so many wheels. Come back here. I want another one. We nicked two in about five seconds there. I want that wheel. I want that middle wheel or the rear wheel. I'll take whichever. You can go that way. Ah, oh, it's not quite enough. No! Bob punted us off. I thought we were going to get Bob off. But no. No, now it's Bob versus two flippers. Uh, and I think if it, if it continues to go on, it will uh, eventually just declare a winner. Although I think they're all going to fall off anyway. Bob's going to get pushed off by the flipper bots. Come on, flipper bots. No, you're not doing that very well. Oh, you don't, don't, don't be goofy. Don't be goofy. Go give it a nudge. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nicely done. Sometimes, again, this is a demo. Sometimes the AIs do freak out. Sometimes the AIs drive themselves into a pit, into the pit off the edge. They sometimes do do crazy things. How, again, as I said, had some very, very good fun fights. Now, I'm going to go and just show a different robot so we don't have the entire video being just that one particular robot. Uh, let's go Japanese rooftop. Now, I will say... These arenas are fun. I've had some frame rate issues with these. I have a generally fairly beastly PC, but even mine has some frame rate issues on here, which suggests it might be a little bit more of a game thing. Again, have no doubt this lot here will all be fixed up by the time the game comes to an actual release. Sure, let's go for a chess piece. We bloody Rocket League before you know it. Uh, right, so we will go against Clever Boy, War Toys. Where's the big hammer thing? And then I guess we'll have another flipper because they're always funny to go against. And we'll have two war toys. I'm scared of double double war toys. That's generally troublesome. Uh, <laughs> right there. Uh, let's actually you know what. Uh, change that. I haven't actually seen what they're like on the hard difficulty. I've just been playing with medium. So let's go and do this. I might get absolutely mullered here. Should be interesting. Should be good fun. As I said, flipper bot's a little bit more difficult to use in some some regards. Oh, we've got to be aware of. Uh, the side area, uh, those things like sort of spin pads, uh, oh, that if you hit, will, uh, there we go, well, we knocked that thing over. Uh, they spin around quite viciously and will fling your robot off the arena or out of control, basically. The pit down the middle dropped and everyone fell in. Come on, um, go back down so we can try and flip the war toys, and whoa, over we go! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Oh, they go sudden death because there are two of us left, possibly. Ah, hello. Oh, frame. It's frames. It all normally sort itself out after a couple of seconds. I'm just going to hang around this middle bit. Uh, whoop. Over that way we go. And off the edge. <laughs> this is what I mean. You can use the flipper to kind of control the fight. It does help that a lot of stuff falls off the middle as at the start of these if somebody goes and boops the button quickly. Uh, if you go and immediately head towards that yellow button, you can cause some mayhem. Right. Uh, someone's going to fall down fall down there. So I'm going to avoid all of that. Oh, don't get hit up the backside with the spinny robots. They're quite powerful. Now, oh, come on. Off we go. Hey, right, got rid of them. Oh, don't go down the pit. Don't go down the pit. Uh, I want to launch you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually now starting to like the flipper robot more. I was a fan of the spinny bot. I was a fan of the damage, but now I'm a fan of the flipper. If you can get it right, it's fantastic. If you can get that like, right drive underneath, I mean, that is, again, see the rupture and, and whatnot do it. In actual Robot Wars, was it Bronco in BattleBots? Is one of the better flippers? American, say American Robot Wars, BattleBots tends to not have uh, as many flippers. They tend to be more the full on destructive stuff. Uh, I, just, I knew they were faffing around in the background. I figured I'd hit that button. Okay, so apparently the pit release derps the frames out a little bit, which is a slight shame. Um, I'm going to avoid hitting it myself then from now on. I could probably flip most of these out uh, if I wanted to, if I can get lucky, uh, get like a nice, get the right drive going on. Here we go. Sandra, we are going to stop hitting me with a hammer. Oh, almost. Mistimed. Just a little bit. However, of course, if I don't get them out, I do take a lot of damage very quickly. So we've got to be careful with that. As you can see, I'm now down a wheel. Oh, dear. I think I'm getting bullied again. <laughs> we've only got 
Help! Help! I'm not even... No! We're gonna get flipped out! Jump away from that! Jump away from that! Oh, we're all gone! Everybody's gone! Everybody fell off the arena. Uh, yeah. When you are one away from winning, the AI certainly seem to want to merge, which is fair enough! You know, you, you would hope that they would. You would you would definitely hope that they would. So yeah, we've got the two Rambots. Are pretty, they are pretty powerful, actually. They can tear apart the Flipper. Uh, robot. They are a bit difficult to deal with. They take they take a lot of damage before they start really breaking. In fact, I think they're the only one, from my experience so far, I haven't seen like break. The spinning one does a lot of damage, does break eventually, uh, as does the flipper one goes out quite regularly from damage. The hammerbot can. Uh, yeah, these these war toys are tough. They are they are very very tough indeed. Now someone should go hit the pit release. I know it will break the game a little bit. That's what I would be doing if I was in, even even knowing it might cause the frame rate some issues. Uh, just give the old, there we go, take some body work off of it. Um, that's that's all good. The hammer does, but he's able to damage the top of robots and I guess able to get some of the mechanical bits inside. As I said, there isn't a crazy level of, uh, oh, there we go, they both fell in the pit. Uh, that's like there isn't a crazy, there's, there's not a, often, from my experience of playing this, again, they will change, but from the demo certainly, there wasn't, you know, sort of one-hit KOs that you can sometimes get in these kind of fights. Uh, however, the hammer, three or four hits to the top of a robot, can get through its armor very quickly. Uh, can can cause it a lot of trouble indeed. I know it's going to hurt, but... Oh, okay, now no, the game sorted itself out. Never mind. Hey, we got rid of one of the war toices. That's what we were going for. We're going for maximum cheese strategies. Go on the spinny bit. Didn't get you out. Run away. Uh, sometimes it does feel like the AI unduly chase you around. Uh, sometimes the AI can be really mean to the player, but I think that might be because of, you know, for example, I'm winning here or something. Uh, it can be a nightmare trying to deal with them. They can just want to uh, hound you. I'm a little bit stuck on there, so we'll have to release you. Can we get the other flipper? No, let's not fight that for a second. Run away over this direction. Uh, you know what? You guys are all stuck on there so quickly because you all stuck on like chassis and bits and pieces. And goodbye. <laughs> oh, I am really excited for this game. It is an awful, awful lot of fun. And this is just the demo with a small selection of robots on a small selection of arenas. There needs to, I said, it needs to be some, some polish. Of course, it's only a little demo. There are a couple of frame rate issues here and there, but I am immensely excited for this one. Go check out the demo. It's on Steam at the moment. Uh, go give it a play. It's easy to lose a lot of time just farting around with with this game. So, yeah, an awful lot of fun. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.